pretty sick little jam right there. Okay, let's start with a little brief explanation about cellular respiration versus photosynthesis. I've saved you the cost of watching me draw this stuff out. Here we have chloroplast mitochondria. Chloroplasts occur only in plants, whereas the mitochondria you can find in both plants and animals. Everything needs to make its own energy. Chloroplasts carry out a process called photosynthesis. Mitochondria carries out a process called cellular respiration. And this is how the two work together. If I choose, let's do this all in blue on this side. If we start with a raw inorganic material like water, water goes into the chloroplast and it comes out of the chloroplast as atmospheric oxygen. Carbon dioxide goes into the chloroplast and after photosynthesis is over it comes out as glucose. This is a starting material, a raw material, and this is what we call the product. Fantastic. Let's hold on to that for one moment. Change our colors a little bit. Make this a little interesting. I'm not a big pink fan. How about some red? Uh, the mitochondria takes in an organic compound called glucose, releases its stored energy, and then spits out this product of carbon dioxide. It also takes in another compound, oxygen, and it spits out water. Here are my, you said it, raw materials. These are my products. It does something interesting though in that it creates as an outgoing, ooh, wiggle, 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 let's get rid of that, an outgoing product of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. 36 of them in fact. ATP is energy. Look how this is an energy in and this is an energy out. Nothing can use sunlight as is. We have to have a process of converting it first into glucose and then taking that glucose and turning it into energy. Now this is how they get put together. Here we have an inorganic raw material. Here you have your product, right? However, over here, what was product on one side is now raw material to the other side. And what was raw material for one side is now the product for the other. This product, after a while, gets fed back to this and becomes the raw material to start photosynthesis all over again. Photosynthesis then turns them into a product, and that product becomes the raw material for the process of cellular respiration. This side, photosynthesis. Photo means light. Synthesis means to combine or create. So you're using light energy to create an energy-rich molecule. Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is the process of releasing the harnessed energy of glucose into ATP. Fantastic. You are going to be responsible for knowing everything I've put on here for your midterm, but there's really not a lot. You've done this already. You'll do great. All right. Let's finish with that little jam.